Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, I said that I was going to end up uh, with a higher crafting level, and I held to that. Not only did I hold to that, but my accessories are actually level 44 now. A lot better than they were. And I have a lot more stuff. Um, I went through and I kept gathering at a few different spots, which I will shall show later today. And I got some resources to work with. My brand glasses are level 10. Heck yeah. Also, theoretically, this is the day? Today is the day! Okay. Uh, I guess I'll pick these. Oh. Oh, someone sent me a letter. Monthly sale today. One day only. All items in every store 10% off. Don't miss this incredible opportunity. Some exceptions may apply. Fantastic. It's the 15th, which means there's sale! I think it's a 10% on during spring, 20 during... I... I feel like there's a winter sale that's like 30 or 40% off. So it may be 10% off every season. I don't, I'm not fully remembering. What does it say? The spring flower grows by soaking up the moon's rays. Bring me six of them. A moon flower? Well, as you might have guessed, this is referring to the moon drop. Uh, I didn't think about the fact that I didn't really have inventory space to sort this out. Uh, I'll drop my iron for it, I guess. Because I don't want to... This must not be the right one. Oh, it actually refunds it. I thought it was just going to give me that message. Look, writing is starting up here. Right next, a bright pink flower, a cat, yet not a cat. Bring me five of them. A pink flower, a cat, but not a cat? Is this enough? It's disappearing. Obtain the redstone tablet fragment. Well then, let's keep going. Alright, and we obtained another mining spot. Yeah. The issue is that I have no space. Uh, I'm actually going to toss this iron. Goodbye. Thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that's every single one here in Machina Valley. Let's check. That is Machina Valley done. We have all five of them. Now, we only have two of the ones from the Ice Tablet Fragments. Which is slightly confusing. You get one for beating the boss. You get one for the thing past the boss. Was I working on one there that I hadn't done yet? Also, we, of course, haven't done this yet because, you know, the one... But we got all of them there, so we're doing well. Uh, my forging's at the end of G. Uh, yeah, that's actually really good. I really thought that was actually going to be it, so I guess it's this one instead. There we go. So I was apparently mistaken. It's only five of these. It's disappearing! Obtain the blue stone tablet fragment. Well, then let's keep going. And we're done. We are now done with Blessia Island for now. We, of course, still have the missions, and we have this, which we can't do anything with. But later. Way later. So I knew there were oranges somewhere on this island that I was forgetting about. It's right here. What does this say? Only a warrior who fells the ruler of the giant shall be allowed to enter. What's that supposed to mean? Ruler of the giants, that's what that one is. But this one up here... What does it say? Defeat four tundras at Padova Mountain Shrine. I haven't done that, got it. 
How have I not done this? I've absolutely done this, right? Oh, that's not good. Oh, you destroyed it. There, I defeated four Tundras. Okay, apparently it had to be in a row. That's not good. None of that, please. That was painful. Um, now what? Defeat five high ogre Vikings at Padova Mountains Ice Path. They're active in the dark and night. High ogre Vikings? All right, so we're done here for now. Tonight. All right, let's begin the class. Okay, uh, making super pendants. Today we'll be making pendants with mysterious powers. To start with, we'll make a sun pendant. First, you need a regular pendant. Next, add a diamond. Then add a fire crystal. After that, add proof of warrior. Use a cheap bandage next. Finally, finish it off with some fur. Next is gale pendant. First, you need a regular old pendant. Next, add a sapphire. Then, add a wind crystal. This is to fill it with the power of the wind. Next comes a skull. It's a bit scary, but it's one of the ingredients. Add a giant's fingernail next. Finally, add a bird wing and you're finished. Next is a tear pendant. First, you need a regular old pendant. Next, add an agua marine. Then, a water crystal. They break easily, so handle it with care. Add a tortoise shell next. It's made of a very tough material. Then, add a plant stem. Finally, add some gunpowder to let enemies know you won't go down without a fight. And that's it, you're done. Last is an earth pendant. First, you need a regular pendant. Add a ruby for decoration. Add an earth crystal next, it's strong. Use sparkle string to add extra support. Add some quality fur next. Connect the pendant and necklace together with the hard horn, and that's it, all finished. Uh, let's go for more difficult accessories. I'll be teaching you slightly harder accessory recipes today. We'll open with an amulet. First, use some silver. The finer parts are made from silver too. Use a scorpion pincer next. Then, use an insect skin. It's not re it's not really a material you would expect to use for an accessory, is it? Next, add an arrowhead. Finally, add an amethyst, and we're finished! Next is a talisman. Start by making the necklace section. Use strong vine for this. Use some sparkle string next to make the necklace stronger. Next, use the plant stem. Use a little crystal for the decoration. Add a proof of warrior next and polish it up like a jewel. Finally, sprinkle some fairy dust on top of it and you're finished. That is the only ingredient that wasn't a part of the top five. Next is a rosary. You might have seen one of these at the Wood Chapel. First, shape it out of silver. Next, add a plant stem. This is used to make string. Then use silver to strengthen the string. Next, add an arrowhead. Finally, use the cheap cloth to polish it, and we're finished. And As a joke, someone drew a picture on the blackboard of me and Orland sitting in a tree. I was so embarrassed to rip it off right away. 
I'm good friends with Thor, and I talk to him all the time, but I think maybe people have the wrong idea. Morning. Morning, Arya. Things like pancakes and chocolate cake are so sweet and yummy. I like them a lot. Man, his class is fun, don't you think? I love her classes. Alright, over here at the general store. We had cookies. Uh, no. We need flour. And chocolate. And you can absolutely buy small milk and eggs. I'm just clearing them out of everything that can be used for cooking. Alright. Uh, there are multiple different kinds of quests. Many, many different kinds. Uh... Let's do this one first. I don't have... I don't have enough materials to make swords. If you get me, if you get some for me, I'll give you something good, human. What is it, little human? I read your request on the bulletin board. Oh, you did? Let me fill you another job. I need more materials to continue on my s work on my sword. I want you to go find mineral to use in my work. I want you to bring me one piece of iron. I can't do anything without the proper materials. Don't let me down, little human. Uh... Do I have inventory space? No. I'll toss this real quick. I can get more fairly easily now. You managed to find a piece? Good work, little human. Now I can continue with my work. Here, you can have this. You got the wind sword. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. You made yourself useful, little human. The wind sword. Yeah. Uh, a sword imbued with the power of wind magic. Each swing is said to send out a gust of wind. I mean, it's not our cutlass, but considering you can do this pretty early on, it's not a bad thing to do. I want to make my barn larger. An expansion the barn, I see. Do you have 50 pieces of wood of 5,000 G? Oh, it looks like you have the required materials and money. Very well, I'll make the arrangements. Thank you. A higher the best will be finished by tomorrow morning. So for a while, we're actually going to want to keep expanding our barn. We'll probably never use it, but I want 100% everything, and you guys probably should too. All right. Where? Let's go talk to Barrett. Mr. Barrett. What is it, Aria? I saw your... I saw... What is it, Aria? I saw your request on the bulletin board. Ah, uh, right. Give this hard horn to Jake for me. It's unusual for him to want anything like a hard horn. I wonder what's up. I don't understand that guy sometimes. Anyway, thanks, Aria. Jake, let's say hi again. Hey, hey, this is a hard horn. What's this for, little human? Barrett told me to give it to you. I see. What do you need it for? I'm gonna cut through, through it with one of my swords. You can cut through that? That's amazing. It's perfect for my training. Anyway, I'm pretty strong, so don't think just anyone can cut through something like this. Thanks for bringing it to me. Did you give it to him? Yes, he said he was going to cut right through it with one of his swords. Isn't that amazing? Hmm, well, that does sound like something Jake would do. Thanks, Arya. Here's your reward. Uh, this is not the voice I used to use. I'm forgetting how I used to do the old voice. You, you got missing page number one. Thanks again. Good job. That is missing page number one for Water Laser. Describes how to use powerful magic. There's an issue with that. I don't... I don't have water laser. Crap. I was hoping it was one that I, you know, needed. Oops. Uh... 
Hi, Arya. Are you having fun in school? I get the feeling you kids are a bit bored during class. You're still doing alright, but Roy, for example, keeps falling asleep in class. As a teacher, I can't accept that. That's why I'm going to have a pop quiz to see how well you're learning to make items. I want you to create something for me right now. What? Right now? Yes, right now. That's the point of a pop quiz. Now listen, because I'm going to explain what I want you to do. I want you to make me some power gloves. That should be easy enough. Do you know what materials you need? If you've been paying attention to my lessons and not been neglecting your studies, you should know by now. Prepare your materials. As soon as you have them ready, consider the quiz underway. Good luck. This is mean, Barrett. It's for your own good. Stop whining. Yes, sir. Here it is. Power gloves. Insect skin, panther claw, quality cloth, strong string, giant's glove, strong vine. I think I have all those. I'll go check. Oh, this isn't strong vine. This is strong stem. Alright, we are short one item. So, let's go get that item. Okay, I think it's down here? Yeah, this is the Southwest Beach. Alright, now right over here, once we beat these monsters. I don't need this. Right here? Yep. First try. <laughs> Okay, let's try to get second, I guess. Okay. We're, yeah, my looks weird. Okay, strong vine, a long, thin, and strong vine of a plant. Can be used to tie up and bind things. They're both level 5, too. Today you're having ultimate curry. What is this lunch? Uh, I'd be very rich right now if this was Rune Factory 4 or 5. I don't even know about 3. I don't remember how much it's worth in that one. Ultimate curry. The product of years of seeking the ultimate curry. Okay. Fine, I guess. One of these. 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 And finally, that. This is only a level 19 recipe, too. Power gloves. Power gloves. Gloves that tightly fit the hands. Allows heavy items to be left with ease. Strength plus. So... Uh, strength plus 15. That's actually good. Wild. Okay. You finished making it? Good job, you pass. You did well. Take this as a reward. Smash Boyd. I know you've been searching for your father. This should come in handy for you. I'm gonna give the quiz to the other students later. Don't tell anyone about it. I want to keep it a surprise. I understand. I'll keep it a secret. Thanks. Lesson time. Start class. Okay. Uh... I could make better shields. Or I could make better swords. Let's do swords, I think. More small swords today. Let's start with a Sakura. First, you will need a broadsword, ready in advance. Reforge that using iron. Make the blade nice and thin. Start making the poison, too. You'll need a magic crystal. I'm just gonna read in my break. Her voice. Then some pounded poison powder. After that, a spore. Finish it off by making a handle using a scorpion tail. Next is Raventine, Raventine, a sword imbued with the power of fire. First, you'll want to burn the blade. Reforge the blade using silver. Then pump it up with a fire crystal. Then you're gonna need a pumpkin. 
If you're wondering why you'd ever need to use something like that, it's to give the sword its firepower. What? <laughs> Emily? Confirm or deny? <laughs> then you'll need a skull. <laughs> then finish it. <sighs> finish it up with an insect skin. Now for an ice fire, a sword imbued with the power of water. First, you're gonna need an aqua sword. Then use a silver to help give the shape to the blade. Next, you'll need a water crystal, which gains the power of ice when it condenses. Don't forget that. Use a scorpion pincer for the guard. Then wrap the grip using quality cloth. You're almost done. Finally, use a tortoise shell to give the handle balance. Next, we've got Soul Eater, another poisonous sword. First, make the, uh, first make the soccer you learned about before. You're gonna have to reforge the blade. First, use some iron. The difference between this sword and the Soul Eater is that you're gonna put poison powder in the blade itself rather than just coating it. Do they mean Sakura? I. Uh, Use a root to bring out the poisonous effects. Then make a guard out of a scorpion tail. Then just wrap the grip using quality cloth and you're done. Alright, last one. I'm gonna teach you to make a smash blade. This sword is based on the luck blade. I mean, you know, kinda just got one for me, but it's it's fine. You'll need gold for the handle. Use the panther claw to make the blade. You also want to use a hard horn. Decorate the guard with a speckled skin. Then use a plant stem for the grip and you'll be all- Alright, one-handed swords three. Today let's start with the recipe for a platinum sword. You'll need a defender to make the sword. Remake the blade using the platinum. Use another platinum. Make a handle out of a broken hilt. Strengthen it with silver before you attach the blade. Then just use glue to reinforce the fragile parts. Alright. Next I'll teach you how to make the fiery sunspot. Start with the Reven Reventine, since it's already fire bait. Then forge the blade using gold. Use a fire crystal after that. Then use a magic crystal for a real scorching hot blade. If you stop then, it'll be too hot to even carry, so use giant's gloves to make a grip for yourself. Then wrap it with a sparkle string and you'll be done. Next, I'll teach you how to make an earthen grand tail. First, you'll need a Gaia sword. You won't be using any metal to make a grand tail. You'll be making the entire body using. Use an insect jaw next. Then, you'll need to use a bullhorn. Using a tortoise shell for the guard. Then, just make a grip from plant stem and you'll be set. Let's end with another poisonous sword, the Chaos Blade. First, you'll need a Soul Eater. Start by extracting the poison with a cheap bandage. Then, make a new poison from Birdwing. You'll need a magic powder. Shape a speckled skin into a blade. Make a grip with a giant's glove so you don't get poisoned. What do you think? Interesting new swords. Smash Blade, a sword designed to attack critical areas. Use it and you'll soon have your opponents on their knees. I guess inflicts poison and seal on enemies, which is always nice. So the Gravio is the upgrade to the Smash Blade. Sparkle Strings, Panther Claw, Giant's Fingernails, Silver, and Iron. We could do that as well and the upgrade material for it is just silver it'll be a while until we can 
do this, but like, once we're up towards the 50s a bit closer, this would be a good way to actually, you know, power level. For now, I think I'm gonna make an ice fire, so I need to make myself an agua void, an agua sword rather. I don't think I have the recipe for it, so I'll just, you know, do it real quick. I really like cooking class. What about you, Arya? Uh, I like shop class. I like shop class. Really? Shop class is kind of hard, though, isn't it? I like cooking class. How can I like cooking class too? <laughs> Same as me. I don't like studying. I just don't like school. Ah, uh, that's so selfish of you. You're gonna stop thinking about like that, Arya. Okay, I'm gonna ship the ultimate curry. Or not ship it, but sell it here. And I'm gonna purchase a broadsword. Alright. I think that's everything I need here. I'm gonna check just to be certain. I was mistaken, which means I just wasted money. It's fine. Steel sword. Because I just don't feel like making a steel sword. <laughs> so I could buy a defender to make a platinum sword to make the next thing after that, but uh, maybe later. Okay, so over here, I believe down here, yeah, this is the sandy path, and these are the tortoises I need to fight. Oh, you're not gone. Come on. There we go. Problem is, I know I'm going to need more than one, so do I even bother staying here or not? This will be my last wave. Skill up. Okay. Weapon skill went up to 51. Nice. Alright, the level 29 recipe. Taking all of these, because I don't feel like listing every single one, and these aren't required to do. Ice fire, water crystal, silver, another tortoise shell. I should have. I, I knew that! I knew that somewhere in my mind. All right, giant beetle. You've come for a trial. Here's, here's what I'd like you to do today, then. How we need to defeat ten giant beetles, okay? Its appearance like a giant beetle. It lives in thick, overgrown foliage. Underestimate it, and you'll get hurt. Like a lot of insects, this one's nocturnal. Remember that. Crap. So, I guess we'll do this tonight, then. Got it. Oh, I I was the one who destroyed it this time. But I got my level up even if no sound played. Well, got one. See if a second doesn't randomly pop up right now. And a second one randomly popped up right now. Called it. <laughs> That's my luck. That's my luck entirety. Yeah. Alright. Agua Sword. Scorpion Pincher. Water uh, Crystal. Silver. Tortoise Shell. And Quality Cloth. All together. 37% chance. And we did it, the Ice of Fire. Actually puts our forging skill up past the G. Now what's the odds of upgrading said Ice of Fire? 
19%. It only requires silver, though. 105 is not so bad, right? See? 105 is not so bad. Skill level increased. It's now 1 out of 4. How? Okay. Uh... 1 out of 3 now. I... I swear, I'm not cutting out failed attempts. You can see my RP. What the crap is happening? There we go. Finally. I was about ready to actually claim this is bugged. Skill increased again. It's closer to 5050 now. Tur tortoise shell. A very hard tortoise shell. Working with it takes time, but it's perfect for making tough, long lasting items. We'll be shipping this one. We'll be getting more later, of course, but for now, I want this on the ship list. Isofier. The chill from this blade can freeze the water in the air. Perfect for making free snow cones. Yeah, it's just a good sword. It's on par with our current sword, so... Actually, it's slightly better. And, you know, has an element to it, so that's nice. Success! There you go. Skill level increased. How much do I get per use? Right before the F. And right at the end of the G. So not a bad little chunk. Alright, over here at the oven. If we go down to our recipe, and I'm going to be using a large milk for this because I want it to be as high level as possible. We use a butter a flour and a large milk. You can use whatever size milk and it will determine your, you know, level for it. Cookie. Because I promised Emily I'd make her a cookie. That is the entire reason we did this right now. Okay, if I come over here, we're actually going to grab the stack of small milk that I used before. And we're actually going to... this is the right one? Yes. The cheese maker. Cheese! Clang clang. Small cheese was created. Small cheese, made from processing milk, has a distinctive flavor. Can be eaten as is or used on, on or in many dishes. Okay, we actually need to make some bread. And now here at the pot, we're going to use one bread and one cheese. That's fair. Cheese fondue. Cheese fondue. A hefty amount of cheese melted in a pot, eaten with bread. Yep, we got some cheese fondue, and let's show that off in here. So, cheese fondue will be one of three different recipes, depending on whether you want to use small, medium, or large cheese. Progressively harder each time. For us, small cheese is absolutely fine, though we could up the level of the recipe by simply using large cheese. It's pretty simple. Okay, cheese fondue. A hefty amount of cheese melted in a pot eaten with bread. We have the small cheese made from processing milk has a distinctive flavor. I read that already. And so I'll be shipping one of the small cheese as well as the entirety of the cheese fondue. Skill level actually managed to increase by making bread. I guess I'm too high level at this point for this. And I can't do it because... This is my one frustrating thing about Gen 2, is the fact that he closes up shop before 2.30 in the afternoon every day because he doesn't have anyone to come out and do this for him. We're already done cooking because I can't do the next thing I want to do, sadly. Tomorrow will be sunny, perfect. I just wanted one of these real quick. Uh, I don't have any space. What? How would she eat the second cheese fondue I made? See if I can't make something good. See if I can't catch something good up here. Gorilla, huh? 
another one. Uh, no. Okay, down here at the southwest beach. I think they spawn right here. Yeah. Oh, are these not the right beetle? I just realized I never got a message for it. I did get the hard horn, though. Okay, I'm being very transparent with you guys. Uh, I had to actually stop recording midway through here because I was so tired last night. I just, I don't, I'm not feeling 100%. I feel a little bit sick, but I didn't want to, you know, wear myself out or anything and burn out. So I stopped. And because I stopped, I was like, oh, hey, I'll just come back to it the next morning or whatever. And I wasn't feeling like it until this afternoon. Um, I must have forgotten to actually talk to Tanya, despite having a memory of talking to Tanya. I'm apparently not doing as hot as I thought. <laughs> I don't think three is high enough. Oh, it is. I can talk to her at night now. No, I did talk to her. Why was- I... Guys, I'm sick, and this is not doing good. I- Did I get a message and I just- Okay. One does spawn here. Defeated the target- I guess you have to beat them here. Okay. This is frustrating. Son of a... Honestly, it might suggest magic for this guy. I... Perish. Dizzy without the effect or anything, huh? Defeated It actually healed it after death. Wild. And its range is so annoying! Neat. I'd rather have the hard horn than the char. Actually, I'd rather have the char than the gorilla. Or yorella, however you say it. Gorilla? So run around its backside and then stab it. There we go. No honor allowed for this beetle. Defeated a quota. Here we go. You managed to defeat- you managed to do it, well done. How did you like my choice for you this time then? A bit tough, I think, but I knew you could do it. Okay, here's your reward. 2000 G. I've got something else for you too? Oh, your backpack's full. Okay, no, it isn't a way to get infinite money. I just want to be sure. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run home and deposit. The Super Psycho. This is a very real weapon. I think you can handle it, Arya. You're starting to look a pretty good fighter out there. A real fighter. The Super Psycho. A very unique longsword. For each of its three blades are cursed with individual spells. It apparently inflicts paralysis. Also, wait. I just realized. Didn't I... Oh, this doesn't... This protects against poison and seal. It doesn't inflict. I realize the symbols are different. Wild. So this is a dark-based paralysis-inflicting weapon that I'm sure has some other effects to it that I don't know about based on the fact that it has three prongs. I don't know. It's a good enough weapon. At level 1, it's 35 damage. Compared to, you know, 52 at level 10 for this one. No element, no extra things. I'm sure you can easily turn this into something else. Scorpion Tail. Katana. Quality Cloth. Arrowhead. Hard Horn. And Panther Claw. All together for a 73% chance at... 
The Dancing Dicer. The Dancing Dicer, a weapon from the Far East. Super sharp, the wielder needs to watch himself as much as their foe. The thing has 39 attack at only level 3. It's a pretty good weapon, but, you know, once again, two-handed swords, so we lose the defense, so I'm not too interested. This is also a two-handed sword, so once again, not really interested. So I have no idea what percentage, but let's do it. Salted char. Oh yeah, we were guaranteed on that one. Cool. Salted char. Char salted then fried. The fresher the fresher the fish, the tastier it'll be when it's cooked. There we go. Another one. Let's go! Alright. Up here in Padova. Up here at the blocked off cave, if you defeat both the enemies and the spawner, you can actually get platinum here. It's one of the few sources of it via the uh, Inquisitive Waltz. Just as a heads up, this is how I did it last night. I also got plenty of iron, what's not. So I believe these are the enemies I need to beat four of, or however many. Ooh, glue. More glue. Maybe not. It might be the ones down here. Yeah, these are the high ogres. Got it. They also drop glue. I'll keep one of the three. Highest level thus far is level five. There we go. Defeat of five high ogre viking. And we're gone. What was that last part? Defeat six dark slimes that put over the mountains blocked off cave. Dark slimes? Alright. Defeat the healers. And of course I'd be paralyzed. Level up. Alright, I actually want to fish here. Pond smelt. Alright, let's keep going. Pond smelt. Pond smelt. And pond smelt. Got a root for trouble. Okay, we're gonna take one of our pond smelt, stick it in the uh, pan. Salted pond smelt. We're gonna try it again. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, we have a 55% chance on these, so let's hope this one. No. Salted pond smelt. Pond smelt salted, then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier it will be when it's cooked. And pond smelt. This long and slender fish adapts well. Oft often fish from frozen lakes through holes. Which is what we did. And I never shipped the cookie. Simple baked flour mixed cookie. Crisp and obviously handmade. It makes the perfect gift. Alright. We're going to be done here. Partially because I'm fatigued, and partially because, you know, we're so low on time at this point. Uh, throughout the days, we're just going to keep up this kind of pace. I'm going to be crafting. I'm going to be doing quests. I'll try to keep up my construction, and otherwise just keep showing as much content as I can. Uh, give me one moment to check one thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's Julia's birthday. We've shown this before, but from Kyle's perspective. We may as well give a gift. Child's birthday? That That's how they decided to... Interesting. Couldn't even put my name. It's fine. I, I don't care. See y'all next time. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.